Alright, so now we're back again. <coughs> we just took a little short break because the end was just get, getting just about to get interesting, right? We were just about to get some fused Pokemon, I believe. Because that trainer said we could go trade him for one of his Pokemon. We could choose one of his fused Pokemon. We could trade our bug Pokemon. We get a Weed All fused with a Zubat or a Caterpie fused with a Zubat. So we're going to have to see. Next, essentially, they were both uh, fused different ways, right? There was the zoo, whatever they were, whatever the names were, they were basically fused two different ways. So we talked to you, wow, that was a good battle. Say, do you want to have another one? Should we battle him? We're not sure. Let's just go explore the, explore the forest, see what else there is. But we know, we know we could some, come back here and battle him anytime. So we need to cut down that bush that's down there to be able to go past here. There was just uh, the Pokeball up there that we got, and this guy was going to trade us. So, hi, did you want to trade with me? I'll take any type of bug Pokemon in exchange for one of his Pokemon. Sure, so which of uh, my Pokemon did you want? So the Weedle, the Weebat, would turn into a Bee Bat, or the Caterbat would turn into a Butter Bat. So I remember that. I remember we played this back like, uh, I don't even know, like four years ago? It was a while ago. Maybe it was only like two years ago or three years ago. It was an older version. So the sprites, the characters, they actually looked a lot worse. It was just because they were taken from that fusion site. And they just uh, took the face off of one Pokemon and put it on the body of the other Pokemon and recolored them. But now I imagine the Caterbat probably looks amazing, so we're gonna go for that one, because we know that one. So which of my Pokemon did you want? So these are fused Pokemon, It'd be a Weedle and a Zubat, or a Caterpie and a Zubat. We want the Caterbat. Which Pokemon are you going to give you? So we'll give you the Caterpie for the Caterbat. So essentially it's a free fusion. Perfect, let's get started. Let me trade with you. Caterpie, NN Caterpie, original trainer Tyro out. Uh, for Tyrell's Caterpie, Rick sends Caterbat. So we just trade in real time here or something. Uh, Rick bids farewell to Caterbat. Oh, and then he comes into my screen, and then we have the Caterbat. And, and Caterbat, original trainer Rick. So they did upgrade it, right? Before it did, it was just a Caterpie face on a Zubat. Although now they've just put the Caterpie body as well on there. So they did do a custom thing. Because we were thinking of, um,. Some of the Pokemon, they looked terrible still. Maybe we could even make our own custom images, right? Because we seen, we already know how to do that. We already looked into the files. We're like, here's all the image files. All we would have to do is add our own custom images. Take you good care of Caterbat. So we could even make the Pokemon look like anything we want. We could even turn the Pokemon into a iced tea can or something or a video game. We could turn all the Pokemon into video games or trading card games. We just have to put our own custom images into the games, and then a Pokemon could be whatever we want them to look like. We could even make the trainer look like whatever. Yeah, we could even make the trainer turn into something. We could make him be something. We could make it a custom, custom Pokemon fusion. Although, I don't know if we should do that right away, right? We should try the base games, yeah, everything else. So I wonder if there's a secret item down there, but I don't want to uh, go into battles right now. So if we look at the Pokedex, <coughs> Should have near Pokemon. Right, Kakuna, we had Metapod, we've seen those, but we didn't catch them. So if we scroll down, the Wii Ran, here's the Caterbat. Oh, here's the Wii Bat. So we've seen the Wii Bat, we didn't get that. So they made the Wii Bat picture better as well, I think. So the Caterbat, that's the one that we got. What does it say? Its voracious appetite compels it to devour leaves bigger than itself without hesitation. Ultrasonic waves to detect. Oh, okay, so it is a mix of both of them. It is a bat worm Pokemon. Number 14,401 bug flying. Okay, so the first part is Caterpie. Its voracious appetite compels it to devour leaves bigger than itself without hesitation. So that was the Caterpie text. And then the second text is from the Zubat. They use ultrasonic waves to detect obstacles. Amazing. So now we have our first fusion Pokemon. So now we can uh, continue going through here. There's some mushrooms up there, although we might run into a battle or something. Okay, so we ran into a battle. We were just uh, AFK there for a bit. Kakuna level 6. Kutu level 6. 
fight, we could use the tackle attack. So if Kikuna is just going to harden this entire time. Oh, a critical hit. Oh, Kikuna did use a harden. So Hoot Hoot just has to use a tackle attack. So all that Kikuna is going to literally do is just harden. Um, I don't think we should catch another catch of Kikuna since we have a read already. Oh, we didn't even check if that guy was going to trade for the other Pokemon. Maybe he only does uh, trade one of them, but we should go talk to him again. We should see if we can get the other one. We actually just thought of that while uh, doing this battle. Okay, so like, uh, we still have the Weedle, and then we just thought, uh, would he take the Weedle for his other one? I don't imagine he would trade for both of them, but it is worth trying. So they, defeat, uh, so they just hired and they just raised their defense. It's basically all that they do. They don't do anything else. They do give you a lot of experience, right? 61 experience points because he's an evolved Pokemon. So let's just talk to you again. The bug Pokemon you gave me is so cool, I promised I'll take good care of it. Yep, so you can only only trade with him once. So let's go see what's in the mushroom. A poison mushroom. Put the poison mushroom in the item's pocket. I imagine this uh, cobweb would have something in it too, right? Terrell inspects the cobweb. Whoa, a Pokemon jumped out. Oh, cool. So, another Pokemon. What's well, gonna be in this one? Another uh, spinner rack. Wild spinner rack up here. Go, Hoot Hoot. So, I wonder if uh, they're hard to get later or if they're easy to get later. So, might as well just attack him. So, I think it's just like uh, the other an item or him. Although, they probably. Uh, they probably just put them in the same spot. I wonder if they respawn or something. So it just says that we already caught this Pokemon. Although we catch him for fusions or something. Oh no, we defeated him. Spinarak has been defeated. Wild Spinarak. 228 experience. So I imagine there is somewhere, maybe on the other continent or something, where we can catch them easier. We're gonna have to see. Or maybe they spawn during the night or something. Alright, so there's a trainer battle here. I was thinking maybe we should uh, test out our new fusion Pokemon, right? The Caterpat. So let's uh, put it to the front. It is basically our lowest level Pokemon. If you don't uh, count the Weedle. Which we're probably just gonna throw in the throw back in that thing right now. Maybe we could level him up later or something. We shouldn't just sit here uh, grinding everything. So we can see what type of moves he has. But the Pokemon trainer, bug Pokemon, are totally great. Let me show you what they can do. Bug Catcher Lena would like to battle. Bug Catcher Lena sent out Caterpie. So Caterpie level 7. Oh, Caterbat. And figure out Caterbat level 6. Holy, he looks just an absolutely amazing fight with uh, Leech Life, Tackle Strings. Let's look, uh, what does Leech Life do? Oh, Caterbat has used Tackle. Caterbat used Leech Life. Oh, Caterbat has an enemy. Jeez. So it barely did any damage to him. Although it did heal ourselves a little bit, right? Caterbat has used Tackle and Caterpie. Caterpie is awesome. Oh, the critical hit. Although his Caterpie seems to be stronger than our back. Does that make sense? The full Caterpie used Tackle. Caterbat's almost defeated. His Caterpie is stronger than our fusion Pokemon. It just doesn't make any sense. We're gonna have to switch out. Caterbat uh, cannot defeat this Caterpie. Caterpie is absolutely insane. Level 7. Go, Nidoran. Now, Nidoran, you can use your peg attack, right? Caterpie has used tackle. Nidoran has lost more hit points. Uh, I want to attack. So, fusion Pokemon? Not so great. Fusion Nidoran has used peg and uh, Caterpie. Oh, it's super effective against Caterpie. So, why does Caterpie have so much hit points at level 7? Caterpie just seems like a really strong Pokemon. It just needs good, um, good attacking moves. The full Caterpie is fine. I guess it uh, falls into Metapod, which is just all health and defense. Caterpod gained uh, 43 experience, Nidoran gained 29 experience. So, Bug Catcher is going to send in Weeki. One Pokemon, which we chose Pokemon. No, Bug Catcher sent out a Weedle fused with a Mankey. 
amazing, so if you use Peck on him, it would be super effective because he's a bug type, right? It is super effective. So if you use Leer and you board, Edran's defense has been bored. Oh, well, if you use Peck again, it should be super effective. If you use String Shot to slow down Edran's speed. Nidoran speed fell. Nidoran is back. Wiki is super effective. Wiki has been slain. The full Wiki fainted. Nidoran gained 75 experience. Nidoran grew to level 9. Now he's like our strongest Pokemon. Nidoran learned double kick. Ah, uh, Terrell defeated Bugcatcher Lane. See, no, oh, how could this happen? Terrell got $112 for winning. So we could actually attack you. Wow, that was a good battle. Say it won't have another one. So we could uh, duel you again as well. So we could always come back and duel her. We made it to the next town. Ball mushrooms are super rare and valuable. But be careful if you go hunting after them. They look exactly the same as poison mushroom. Huh. So if you go click on here. We've uh, picked a whole bunch of poison mushrooms. Is there a problem with that? Go through here. So there's gonna be grass patches here. We know this. There's probably more Pokemon. Maybe there's a Spearow over here. It would be a Spearow. Spearow starts to appear over here. Oh, and a uh, Sentra, whatever that is. Although we should just try to get a level five Pokemon. We shouldn't uh, deal with catching all these level two Pokemon. Although cool to catch this one. Oh, Sentra, you scratch. We didn't do too much damage. Maybe our Caterbat would be able to take out this center. Odd oh, centers do scratch. Caterbat does rats. Yes, it only does a uh, two damage to our Pokemon. But I guess it is just a level two Pokemon. So. Caterbat has defeated him. Caterbat gained a boosted 18 experience. Why did he get boosted experience? Huh. I don't know. Maybe we should switch out uh, Weedle up here. That work, and then we all can maybe gain some levels. We have to heal them. Another Pidgey here, level 5, so we already have this one. Maybe after this battle, we'll just go to the next town, I guess. We can fight him with the poison stick. We don't use the poison stick. Pidgey use and attack. Weedle's accuracy has fallen. Weedle has missed. Weedle's not going to be able to hit the Pidgey. Pidgey use tackle. Attack is missed. We just can't hit the Pidgey. It's just way too fast. There's just way too much sand in the air. Oh, we hit him. Barely did anything. So let's just uh, switch because you're only level 3 point. So we're pretty good against you. Nidoran. <coughs> Maybe we can just get you up to level 10 or something. How could you do sand attacks now? There's sand in the air for Nidoran. Use fight if we use double kick. That'd be a not effective one because he's a flying type. Oh, it hit two times while we do sound attack. He just keeps reducing all of our accuracy. Eventually, none of our Pokemon will even be able to touch this pigeon. Oh, no, oh, the double kick did it. Pidgey has been defeated, hit two times. We don't gain 17, Nidoran gained 17 experience. Let's go to the town, let's go heal up all of our Pokemons. And then we're gonna have to explore this city. So what's this uh, future city between rugged mountains? Cool, so there's a sign to read. And then you said, did you check out the museum yet? It's fossils and Prepo, which one's your favorite? Oh, uh, what if I say, oh, really? You have to go, the entrance is free and there's a huge collection of rare fossils from around the world. Okay, so let's just go to the Pokemon Center. We'll just go here, heal up our Pokemon, and we'll just do a little clip. Hello, restore your tired Pokemon. Would you like to restore them? Yes, we would. All six of our Pokemon are now fully healed. Amazing. All right, so now we're back again. So we uh, were away for a couple hours. I mean, not from the game. I mean, um, the game's at the same spot. You can do it Rattata with enough training. We can finally defeat Brock. So I tried battling Brock so many times, but he's just too tough. I keep having to come back here to heal my Pokemon. So maybe he's going to be ridiculous. Oh, we can go upstairs Pokemon Trade Center. We booted up the PC. 
And the sounds really loud here for some which PC should be accessed. Oh, so it's the Pokemon storage upstairs as well. It's for trading. Okay, cool. So what she said. Oh, there you have to get the gym badges. Get a gym badge before you're allowed to make a wonder trade. What's a wonder trade? Talk to you. Hello, I'm the update man. Is there anything I can help you with? Fix game? What does that mean? So there's no sound in the Pokemon Center. Unless we like leave the Pokemon Center and come back in or something. I'm not sure why it's so silent here. There should be town music or something. We didn't do anything with the sound. Where's the where's the music? Oh, there is music. I just had the sound really low in the headphones. I turned it too low, I think. No, there is no music inside here. That makes sense. It's only music outside. So let's save the game. Let's say save. Would you like to save? Yes, there's already a save file. We know that. We save the game. We go see what you do. The more badges you get, the more wonder trades you are allowed to make. Huh, so we gotta have to figure out about wonder trades. So what does this say? Hello, I'm the update man. Is there anything I can help you with? Advanced options, randomizer options, convert Pokemon. What's this? Which of these would you like? Check randomizer settings, set randomizer, reshuffle gems, reshuffle wild Pokemon, reshuffle trainer, set stats range. What? So you could, uh, randomize? Starters are off, wild Pokemon off, so everything's off, static encounters off. So can you make it like randomized or something? Set randomizer, reshuffle the gems so the gems aren't in the same order. Reshuffle the wild Pokemon, so there's different wild Pokemon. I think we actually accidentally did something. So let's not randomize this. Let's just, um, so we're gonna have to reload the game then. Alright, we're back. So that's actually interesting that you could do that, right? You could randomize all of the wild Pokemon. So we know that this playthrough, these Pokemon are gonna be here. And we have the option to change it. Amazing. Troll two hours. So, options. Maybe if we go to these save files, we could actually change I mean it's just like uh, save a file and then just mess around with another file or something so let's uh, continue the game then so we would have to start a new game or delete this one or find out where the save file is but what does this mean what does the fix the game mean fix game is there still something wrong with our game I'll try to see if I can fix it hopefully this helps what did that do hello I'm the update man huh no idea. Anyways, we should go. So we could randomize the Pokemon. We could. We'll have to figure that out before the first gym. We could uh, randomize, and then we could get different Pokemon than we're supposed to be able to. So what's this? What did you say? I saw you looking at my Tyrogue here. I'll trade it for a Mankey. What do you think? We don't have a Mankey. I'll never be able to find a Mankey. Huh? Pewter City's bigger than Viridian City and Pallet Town. The Pokemon Center is a lot busier. So we could just, it said there was a wiki, a wiki, we could go look at the internet to see what the randomizer thing is. So we already talked to you in the last clip. So what's in this building? What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. Oh, Team Rocket's at Mount Moon again. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. I guess it works on humans too. And she falls asleep. There's nothing but trash in there. What did you expect? Trash? Nothing but trash in there? On the inside the TV? Where's the computer? There's a picture of a rock type Pokemon displayed on the screen. Oh, there's nothing but trash in what you expect. So he did put things to inspect there, I guess. What's this guy do? Do you know what I'm doing? No, I'm spraying repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Here, try it yourself. So we get a repel. The repel so that temporarily stop Pokemon. So if we hit the A button somewhere, does it give us something? We're just hoping there's some like uh, invisible items or something. 
So here's the mart. Oh, and there's a hotel here as well. I wonder what's in the hotel. What would you like to do? Buy. So what does he have? Pokeball, potion, DNA, nice place. Just the same things. What do you have? What would you like to do? Buy. Oh, oops, I hit the B button. Rock gem, nest ball. Oh, man, there's somewhat different Pokeball that works especially well. We can Pokemon in the wild. So we need a whole bunch of nest balls. We need those. So we need to farm money or something. So we had a whole bunch of uh, time. So he needs to buy an antidote to heal his poison Pokemon. She had a whole bunch of time to think about things, right? The uh, shells are filled with Pokemon goods. Maybe we should uh, collect all the Pokemon before Brock. But then maybe we should uh, randomize at one of these runs to get different Pokemon. You should always stop by the hotel when you get to a new city. There's always full of people seeking help from traveling Pokemon trainers. Interesting. Most major cities in Kanto have hotels like this one. They're great for finding people to help or simply to rest and make time pass faster. You know, people who have lost things often come to hotels to seek help from traveling Pokemon trainers. They always hang out on the top floor of hotels and they'll give you rewards for helping them. So don't miss out. So, if we're finding people or rest to make time pass faster. So if we needed it to be nighttime, Maybe we could come for a rest here. I mean, time would pass or something. Welcome to Future City's Hotel. It's fifty dollars for a hotel. No, not at the moment. So we could just uh, stay in the Viridian Forest. Hello there. These are your stats according to my intel. Accept quest zero. In progress zero. Completed quest zero. How do I know all that? That's his secret. Help one more people, and I'll give you something good. Oh, so if we help one person, so there's people here looking for help. Oh, there is. There's three people, maybe. So there's like different quests you could do. Hi, are you a Pokemon trainer? I want to make some wild mushroom stew, but I'm afraid to go into Viridian Forest to pick them because of wild Pokemon. We picked a whole bunch of mushrooms. Would you mind helping me out? I'll give you something in return to make it worth your while. Yes, fantastic. To make my stew, she would need... It's not gonna be that rare one, is it? Three tiny mushrooms? I'm counting on you. New quest, mushroom gathering. Oh, so there's a quest. Find three tiny mushrooms in the Green Forest. I believe we have them. To make my stew, I need to make uh, three tiny mushrooms. Please go pick in them in the Green Forest. Then we have them. Or do we only have two of them? Tiny mushroom. Oh, we have two of them and we have six poisonous mushrooms. So I wonder if they're a respawn back there then. Bug type Pokemon are my favorite. I want to become a very strong trainer using only bugs. Could you please show me fully evolved bug type Pokemon? I'll give you something cool if you do. Sure, so not able to. So we need a fully type bug Pokemon. So we need a Weedle or a Caterpie or something. Please show me a fully evolved bug type Pokemon. I'll give you something cool. So he needs our help. I lost my revive while sitting on a bench earlier and he's worried he'll never be able to defeat Brock without it. Please, won't you help me find it? Sure, thank you. He's been sitting on so many benches today so he doesn't know which one he lost it on. But it's gotta be somewhere in Peter City for sure. He's counting on us. New quest, lost medicine. Find a revive on the bench somewhere in Pewter City. So that'd be this city. So I thought we were just going to be catching Pokemon, but I guess there's other things to do. So if we wanted to change it from like day to night time, we'd go and talk to them, I guess. We should always stop by the hotel. It's always full of people. So we have uh, Pokeballs, right? How's our uh, big Pokeball situation? Eight of them. Perfect. So we should try to farm to try to get nest balls. The shady old man got me to buy this weird fish Pokemon. It's totally weak and it cost him $500. What a scam. It's just flopping around. Good thing can happen if you raise Pokemon diligently, even the weak ones. A cooking show is on. Better get going. There's gonna be something here, right? Oh. What's 
up here. Maybe they could like break rocks or something later. When you're having a rematch with a trainer, you're allowed to forfeit the match at any given time. Oh, interesting. So they teach you things if you talk to the people. Different Pokemon come out at nighttime. I was so surprised the other night when I saw a Zubat outside of a cave. Well, maybe Zubats uh, wander outside the caves. Hmm, the Pokemon trainer. I brought back this special flute for my travels. Show me this city's badge and it is yours. So we get a flute if we defeat the trainer? Oh, I don't think we want to defeat the trainer. Is this the gym? Pewter gym. Gym leader Brock specializing in rock type Pokemon. So we'll wait to go to the gym. We'll see what there is before the gym. So this would be the museum, maybe. Welcome to the Pewter City Museum. The entry is free. Enjoy our fossils collections. Oh, so we just look at fossils displayed in here. Pokemon that was hundreds of millions of years ago. Us humans have only been around for 30,000 years or so. It really puts things into perspective. We're pretty new. I own fossils displays fossil kabuto. Huh. So we can read everything about the fossils. We're not just a museum, but also do lots of research on Pokemon fossils. They have a machine that can revive prehistoric Pokemon from fossils. Amazing. That's just the computer I mentioned. It's a complex looking machine, better not touch it. That's what they said at the beginning of the game. Cool. So we can go and talk to you maybe. It says here that we live closer to the time when Aerodactyl were alive than Aerodactyl it's the time when Kabuto and Omanites were alive. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, he likes fossil. Pokemon lived in the Kanto region 400 million years ago. Oh, different fossil Pokemon. So we'll come back here when we actually have fossils, right? We don't want to read everything. A uh, million years, that's 40,000 generations of humans back to back. Some of the fossils here lived several hundred times that amount. Hello, young trainer. I will teach you the move Mud Slap to one of your Pokemon for free if you can answer this quiz about Pokemon fossils. What do you think? Super effective against this city's gym leader, so come back if you change your mind. Due to the internal structure, the DNA of the rock type Pokemon remains completely preserved even after millions of years of fossilization. Because of this, this Pokemon can be genetically cloned into living creatures, a feat that would be impossible to achieve with prehistoric Pokemon of other types. So you bring this Pokemon back to life. Amazing. Is there another person up there? Fossils are fascinating and all good, but I'd much prefer if this were a good old art museum instead. For lived during time periods. For example, Omanite and Kabuto both lived in Kanto a long time ago, but they lived millions of years apart from each other. Amazing. So we learn so much at the museum. There's probably more to learn if we read those things, but you were over there, it went over up there already. I think we explored like the whole town, right? And I don't imagine we could go east yet. Probably wouldn't let us, right? Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, right? In that case, you should definitely go fight Brock. He's our town's official gym leader. It's a must for Pokemon trainers to challenge him. Interesting. So, considering we got this far, maybe we could uh, save, and then we'll try to think of something. All of our Pokemon are healed, right? I have to go to Pokemon. Everything is healed. Perfect. We got Weedle, Nidoran, Caterpie. We gotta get a evolved Weedle. We need a fully evolved Bug Pokemon. So we traded away the Caterpie. Did we catch them? So maybe we should go level up some Pokemon in the forest. We have the PC, Pokemon storage, um, deposit Pokemon. Which one should we put in? Charmander could go in. Store in box one. Uh, and then what do we keep? We could store you, because you're the strongest Pokemon. Level six, level seven, level seven, level three. So now let's uh, withdraw a couple Pokemon. We don't know why there's no music in this place. So we didn't catch a Lediva ever. So we could put you out, and then maybe we could catch a Pokemon, right? So we know we have a Charmander, Nidoran, Pidgey, and a Rattata. We could probably evolve these Pokemon. Is it level 9 already? So, I think we have a... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that gives us room to catch a Pokemon. 
maybe there's a Pikachu here still, because I remember when we played on the first playthrough a long time ago, there's actually a Pikachu here, and then we made like a Pikachu fuse with a Butterfree. Save the game. Alright, so we figured it out. Um, went to check online, and then we also actually made a new game, if they said if you start a new game, so we could make a Pikachu like that. I imagine there's a new custom spray, though. I imagine that's gonna turn out pretty cool. Cool. Well, that actually does look pretty sweet for an EV. That'd be amazing. And the Mew and Ataros. Cool. <laughs> so it's basically like if you started a new game, right? If you already had a game started, and then you start a new game. So I already found where these save files are, and then I backed up my save file. So we should be able to get back to where we were. Though, now it says, uh, which mode would- Oh, it said that at the beginning. Classic or randomized. So, which mode would you like to play when you start a game? And you can choose classic or randomized. And then it, uh, <coughs> then it asks you what you want to randomize. So, if we just put in, like, something here. So, we're not saving this file or anything. We're just, uh, looking into it. So, if we submit, is this information correct? Then it should uh, give you options. Did you want to randomize all of the trainers around the world? So you could decide if you want to randomize the trainers. Did you want to randomize the gym types? So imagine maybe it changes the first gym to like a fighter type or it could be a grass type. So the gym type. So usually the fighter type. It could be any random type. Huh, so it could turn into a psychic type. Randomize the starter Pokemon. So you could choose to randomize those. You could randomize all of the wild Pokemon found. So you could do this right from the start of the game. Randomize the legendaries and the static encounters. Uh, randomize regular Pokemon to fusions. Randomize regular Pokemon to fusions. So does that maybe mean like a wild Pokemon maybe? Randomize regular Pokemon to fusions. So maybe that's when you're encountering wild Pokemon and then you're just encountering them. We're gonna have to see, right? And then choose a randomness degree for the wild. There's like more information. So we clicked on custom before and it just told us to set a number. So let's go to more information. The Pokemon get shuffled according to their base stats with a low stats range. Pokemon get uh, randomized to other Pokemon with similar stats. Balanced randomizes Pokemon to other Pokemon that, that have the same stats total. All right, harder. Insane is completely random, so you could end up with legendaries on your first route or with a magic carp at the Elite Four. <laughs> Easier. Oh, moderate is somewhere in between. You can uh, also set the base stats range yourself if you so choose. Choose randomness degree wild Pokemon, so you could change it to moderate or insane or something. Choose randomness degree for the trainer Pokemon. Pokemon get shuffled according to their base stats with low stats, so. Looks like it's basically the same, except for the trainers that you go fight. Pokemon have the same stats total. The same is completely random. Alright. So we could say, like, the trainers get random items. You could randomize the items that are on the ground. Maybe the ones that the trainers give you, too. While playing with randomized items, it's likely that you will come across unimplemented items. Be wary of items without a sprite. So, randomize TMs. You could randomize all the TMs. Base that range starters on, and then it just uh, shows you what you turned on. Are those settings correct? And you can say yes, and then it'll say shuffling the wild Pokemon. So that was pretty cool. So we can do that at some point. I think we're just gonna do a regular playthrough though. I think we're just going to farm up before the first gem, try to get really powerful, try to see what Pokemon there were. So it was uh, nighttime, and I was hoping there was gonna be something like a Pikachu or something. So, maybe for the next playthrough if there is another one. So it'll basically just sit here doing this. So let's uh, go back to the game. Alright, so that's pretty cool. So we could do that at some point. We could uh, restart the game. But there's supposed to be a Gyarados and a Scyther. So we could fix up the Gyarados and the Scyther. We could make our own images. Uh, but of course these aren't going to be the actual images in the game, right? Most of the Pokemon have uh, new images on them. So we could uh, continue. So I'm sure all of them actually look a lot better in the game already. They updated a bunch. So if we just continue our game. So we were at the gym. We actually don't remember how long this episode is. We try to keep them around like an hour long. So 
all of our Pokemon are healed. The only place we could go to is uh, down here, Route 2. Then we could go battle those trainers as well. So we could try to catch some Pokemon here. And we could try to farm some money to buy some mess balls maybe. So I think that's what we were going to do. So I think we are going to maybe uh, pause the video and then uh, go do a bunch of progress in the forest. Maybe fight the trainer a bunch of times, farm a bunch of money, try to get um, all of our Pokemon to level 10 maybe. If we get all the Pokemon to level 10, that'd be pretty good. Then I would say we uh, caught all of these. And then for, for future runs, if we run this game again with the randomizer, we could just uh, level whatever Pokemon we get there up to level 10. Or we can get a ridiculously powerful legendary, like it said. Or we can get a magic harp, which would turn into a Gyarados. So that Weedle is uh, destroying our Weedle. So we're gonna have to switch. So we go with a uh, Caterbat, maybe. Caterbat maybe needs um, needs some levels. <clears throat> so, we're gonna five. so it was a wild encounter. All right. And the time is going, so we're gonna have to see if there's actually a Pikachu. I do, I do remember the very first Pokemon that I ever fused was a Pikachu and a Caterpie, and it became like a Pika, Pika, Pika back. No, what was it? A Pika free? I'm not sure if I fused it that way or the other way. Because if it was the other way, it'd be like a Butter Chew. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, it was a, it was a Pika free. So it was a Pikachu, and then it evolved to a Pika Free, so it was absolutely amazing. I like that Pokemon. Although the Catter, Catterbat looks absolutely amazing. I wonder if we use the other ability. Catterbat used Ice and Life Leech, so it doesn't really, it's not very effective. Although it does uh, heal me. So maybe we should start using Tackle Attack. We'll use Poison Sting. And then Catterbat used Tackle. Yeah, that's much more effective. It's much more effective than the Life Leech. So, Caterbat's going to be getting a whole bunch of experience. Oh, and then our Weedle's going to be level. So, I think we're just going to do this fight here. Get 19 experience. Maybe we'll go fight a trainer or something. We'll go to try to find a Pikachu. And if we can just uh, farm forever and get a whole bunch of uh, nest balls, that'd be even more amazing, right? Wow, that was a good battle. Let's get another one. So let's just try to catch some Pokemon first. Let's try to level them up in the wild. And then when, maybe when they're level 8 or something, we can just finish them up. So it looks really dark in the forest that night. Although we don't. So first a Caterpie. We traded away our Caterpie. So we can poison them maybe. And string shot. And then we can get a whole bunch of those uh, heal balls as well. So we can catch a Pokemon that are uh, healed. Okay, so you got a uh, one hit in. So we should have switched. I think that's, uh, I think that's gonna be a good, solid tactic. The hit and run, just go with the level 3, I don't want to go with something else. Although, we have to put him to sleep. So, Tangela would be the, would be the one to send out. So we really didn't think about our Pokemon here, right? Well, you could do some damage, I don't know if we have to put him to sleep, it's just a Caterpie. So we can do the tackle, Hoot Hoot use tackle. Oh no, Caterpie's actually faster. Alright, so if we could just do damage and get him into the red, maybe we can try to catch him to replace our other one. So our other Caterpie, it was a level 3, and then we tried, oh no, critical hit, the level 5 Caterpie has died. So, it should be a lot of Caterpies. Who, who, oh, the other Pokemon leveled up. Weedle has leveled up. Pretty soon Weedle will evolve into a Kakuna. So, another, another battle real quick. Oh, hoot hoot, we already have one of you. We'll probably come back if we find something new. Oh, here we go. Caterpad grew to level 7 and he's evolving. So, maybe we should just record when the Pokemon level up or something. So, we're going to see he's going to evolve into a whole new Pokemon. So, only level 7 he needs to evolve. What is he going to turn into? The Metabat. Metabat. Amazing. Congratulations. Your Caterpad evolved into Metabat. Perfect. <laughs> Metabat learned Harden. So now Metabat. Metabat has been born. 
It's so amazing. So all the yeah, so these Pokemon they have all to use your level up, right? Wild Weedle up here, go Weedle. So Weedle might have like another attack or two in him. And he's going to level up eventually. He only has the poison sting in poison sting ability though. Eventually, once we complete the game, we're gonna have to try to fuse a whole bunch of Pokemon as well. Eventually, that would be the end goal to get a whole bunch of different Pokemon. But we're just gonna see which ones we could get uh, naturally. And then I'm sure we could do the randomizer where they randomize um, these types of Pokemon in the wild, I believe. We go to a party, switch up. Metabat is now level 7. Who to, to go level up a bit? So, we'll come back if anything else happens. Alright, perfect. So now we got a wild zoo bat has appeared in Breaking Forest at night. Go, Weedle. So maybe he only appears at night here. And maybe maybe the other Pokemon, Hootweed, appears during the day. No, we encountered some Hootweeds. They appear all the time. So Weedle has his energy drain. Weedle use Poison Sting. And then uh, Weedle runs for the bushes. So we switch out. Party. Because we have to catch this thing, right? Use Tangela, then we could constrict the Zubat, and then we could put him to sleep, and then we could try to capture him. Well, Zubat used Big Sky, so it's going to be super effective. It is super effective. So he's just going to keep uh, healing himself. So let's use the Sleep Powder. Although I don't think we want to kill him. Although I think we might be here for a while, right? We're trying to level them all up to level 10 or something. That seems to be the goal at the moment. So, Vine Whip, how effective is that? Oh, it's not very effective. So, Grass is not effective against a flying type. Or maybe Grass isn't effective against a poison or something. If we constrict him, will that even do any damage to him? Barely. So that's fast asleep, so we're gonna have to uh, constrict him for quite a bit. Eventually, we'll catch the Zubat. Alright, our Pokemon killed itself. The Zubat has uh, confused our Pokemon, and then our Pokemon kept on attacking himself. Uh, he's the next Pokemon, so we have to catch the Zubat. It has a pretty cool attack. Uh, Metabat. Why does Metabat not have, uh, not have Confuse? Do you not learn Confuse? So if this Zubat has a way to confuse me, because we don't have a way to confuse me. It's about Leech, Light, String Shot, Harden, and Tackle. Oh, that sucks. Then Harden. So, do they start with uh, random abilities or something? It's all up to uh, Metabat, though. Let's do attack the Zubat without destroying him. Without getting uh, critical hits. Though I believe Metabat maybe has more uh, defense or something. Zubat is at least still alive. So, Tangela is pretty much, uh, pretty much dead, I think. So we'll go Pokeballs, try to throw one, try to catch the Zubat. See if we'll be able to catch it or not. So we still haven't seen a Pikachu or anything. Although, we did catch this one. Amazing. So that's another one to add to the list. Zubat's data was added to the Pokedex. Uh, number 41, the bad Pokemon, Poison Flying. While living in pitch black caverns, their eyes gradually grew shut and deprived of them of vision. They use ultrasonic waves to detect obstacles. Oh, we should, uh, we should check the Pokedex thing of the Pokemon that we got, right? Go to Pokedex. We did unlock a new one when he evolved. So, Metabat, what does his Pokedex say? Bat Cocoon Pokemon, its shell is as hard as an iron slab. To use ultrasonic waves to detect obstacles. Oh, cool! So it just takes the first part of the first Pokemon and the second part of the second Pokemon. So shells as hard as an iron slab. Dude, amazing. So now we have this one. And then our new Pokemon should have like different moves or something. Let's look at this uh, the Zubat. It's just a level four Zubat, but maybe it's even better than our Zubat, right? Just because of the skills it has. Where's these skills? Serious nature. Okay, so we have to figure out about the natures, right? EXP points. What kind of nature do we need for the Pokemon? Inner focus and the ability and everything. Are these the EVs? Or are these just the stats? Yeah, supersonic. We didn't have a supersonic on our Zubat. What are ribbons? 
We're not sure how Oliver poked on her, and basically dead. We don't want to fight things with the Tangela, but I guess Tangela has to level up, and then we got the Metabat, so we're gonna have to go heal again pretty soon. Maybe we could do like one more battle, and then heal our Pokemon, and then we'll come back here and level some more. Another Pokemon comes up or something that we need to catch, we'll probably come back. So we're just basically gonna be going to the Pokemon Center, healing up, and then coming back into the forest to catch some more if there is anything else to catch. And then eventually move on to the gym trainer. So Pokeballs, we're switching party to a Pokemon like actually do something. So Tangela would come in this time. We'd all have stuff to back. Go Tangela, defeat this one too. Here and then we'll record the level just in case he evolves because there's no notice, there's no notice, he just uh, evolves right away. We don't grew to level 5, but maybe you could uh, hit the B button to cancel the evolution. So Weedle has leveled up, Tangela got 12 XP, and Spinner got 12 XP. So now we're gonna go heal. Alright, so Weedle just grew to level 6. We could see, is he going to evolve? 2, 2, 1, 1, 0, 1. So has more hit points, so maybe both of them evolve at level 7 maybe. Inspect the web, obtained a Pika Berry. What, there's an item in the web again? It's not a Pokemon this time. Oh, because we're supposed to come to the forest to pick mushrooms. So we're gonna have to see how those work. So, we're just looking for a level 5 Caterpie. We actually killed that level 5 Caterpie by mistake. So, let's just uh, wait to find a level 5 if possible. Simply it's like level 3 to level 5 is what you seem to spawn in between. So we'll come back if anything else happens. We haven't seen any new Pokemon at all. We've just been going through the forest. Although, I wanted to try going down to the southern part of the forest to see if there's different Pokemon there. Uh, there probably isn't. But maybe there is. Alright, so we found another level 5 Caterpie. So we cannot kill it this time. The other one, I think we, uh, we did an attack and then it uh, barely did any damage to the Caterpie, and then it did a uh, critical strike, and then it killed the Caterpie. So we can just attack it one more time, and then just hope that uh, there's a uh, critical. Right a bad huge tackle, Caterpie took damage, alright, so we can hit him uh, one more time maybe, and then we could recapture the Caterpie, because we traded our Caterpie away, right? Like I didn't realize there was actually Caterpies in this whole forest here. So if we go to the bags, we can put Pokeballs. Now that we actually have a way to fight the trainers and make money, we haven't actually fought the trainers. We've actually just been uh, wandering around catching Pokemon. We're all trying to catch them. So we caught a Caterpie. We caught another one. We lost our other one. It was transferred to the Pokemon storage. Amazing. So I guess we do have to backtrack anyways to get these mushrooms. We're just finding uh, poison mushrooms though. And if we search the cobweb, there might be something. We inspected, whoa, a wild Pokemon jumped out. So if it's a spinner rack. All right, so they're not they're not really as hard to get as I thought they would be. So the web, it has a random chance to give you an item or a random chance to give you a spinner rack, I guess. So I think we caught out one of them. And I think we destroyed the second one. So then if we go to our party, we go switch out the Pokemon for something that's like level 7. Tangela really needs to level up, I guess. Although grass isn't going to be effective against bug Pokemon, is it? We're going to have to see, but Tangela does need some experience. Wild is going to have to use poison train, and so does El Lido. It's super effective, Tangela was poisoned. Oh, that's not good. Tangela is hurt by poison. Oh, Tangela, you could uh, try to do something. What does uh, Vine Whip do to the bug? Tangela, use Vine Whip. Uh, it's not very effective. So you can really constrict him, really. It's super effective. So what can we use that's uh, weak against grass types? So we should just switch him out. We don't want to lose him. And Metabat's uh, pretty much uh, leveled up almost. So let's try leveling up this one a bit. Did you check her? Check your Pokemon storage, and all of the Pokemon were like uh, level 8 inside the storage. So, who's got me and Caterpie? And then Spinarak grew to level 5, so he got a whole bunch of stats. He grew one level higher. Oh, he learned Scary Face. So, 
wonder if scary face is gonna help us or not. So I think uh, we were coming back here, we healed. And then while uh, we were doing that battle, we were thinking, I wonder if there's a Mankey back here. We also wonder if there's like different Pokemon that spawn during the night, like they said. So we're not 100% sure how we're gonna do this, but we should try to see if there was. We didn't really do too many battles down here. Oh, see, yeah, we got a Nidoran female, so we can get the Nidoran male and the Nidoran female. So we would prefer to find one that's a uh, level 5. So I wonder what the scary face does. A critical hit is not very effective. So let's try this new ability then. If we go fight, say, use the scary face, uh, then use the scary face, what does it do? Well, Nidra and speed harshly fell. Oh, okay, that's amazing if his uh, speed harshly fell. And considering um, our attack was completely ineffective against them. These poisonous things are hurting us doesn't really have anything. Uh, Zubak could maybe do something. Oh, Caterpie can go fight him. Oh, that's right, we do need to keep him alive though. Tangela could have gone to fight him. Oh, I guess we could just use the Pokeballs. As long as we. And, uh, do enough damage without keeping Oh, that's right, he's not even level 5. I'm not thinking, we've just been playing this for a little bit, and it's, uh, we don't even know what time. Probably time to go to, be go to bed pretty soon. So, Caterpie, do the attack all attack. So, we're gonna try to catch one of these Pokemon. So, maybe we're going to any clip. We're gonna see how long the video is, depending how long it is. Maybe we should just, uh, do a progress. So, I'll just, uh, I'll just catch some Pokemon here and I'll level up and then maybe next video will be all of our Pokemon at level 10 or we're gonna see what happens. Maybe we'll be able to get some money if we defeat the trainers a whole bunch. If they said that they are willing to fight us again, maybe they'll give us uh, money again. So we're gonna have to see. There was that one quest that we had to do, so we're gonna have to figure out how to get more tiny mushrooms. Oh, a critical hit. Caterpies in quite the, quite the situation here. Caterpie should be able to take him out though. Oh, barely. Caterpie barely does any damage to him. He doesn't really do anything if he turns into a butterfruit. So I guess Caterpie will try to, will try to take him out. All I have to do is get a critical hit. All I have to do is survive one hit, Caterpie. Oh, he survived the hit. So maybe Caterpie actually will be able to defeat this netter. He did. Wild Nidoran has fainted. Spinarak gained 11 experience. Caterpie gained 11 experience. So both of them joined in on the battle. And we should uh, move our Pokemon here. Oh no, he has good health. So we're just gonna be leveling our Pokemon and try to catch some more. We're gonna see if this is a good one. Let's see that we have one. Alright, there we go. We'll catch some more in the next episode of Pokemon uh, Infinite Fusion, where you could uh, fuse any Pokemon you want, apparently. We're back again, so it's just silly how crazy powerful these Zubats are, right? Well, maybe we just don't have a good, uh, good Pokemon to deal with them. Maybe we need one of our Nidorans to do double kick if, uh, double kick's good against flying. You know, I think, uh, fighting is not effective against flying, isn't it? So it's up to Metabat, maybe. We just need some of the basic tackle attack. No, nobody actually has a basic tackle attack. It's just all uh, poison sting. So we just have uh, bugs in our party. So Zubat's uh, resistant to poison sting. And essentially, he just reaches life back again. So essentially, it would take so long to talk, so long to destroy these Zubats. So we decided to take this one. Five experience, five experience, five experience. So, so there was four different, four different guys that had to join in on that battle. Another one. 